So then guys, here we have a Fortnite Cuddle Team Leader figure from McFarlane Toys. They are 7 inch figures and there's obviously different ones in the line, including new ones coming out. The lighting is awful in this room and I've kind of got no choice but to film my fucking bed right now. Because it's very loud in my house as you can probably hear. So there's two stickers on the sides. Obviously if I can help it I want to make sure that I don't damage the box there. So here is the Scar L. I wouldn't like to say the Scar H because I'm not entirely sure on that. But lovely detail. I think they've done a really good job of this. And I do have the Dark Crusher, I think it's called. It's uh, just the same version of this, but obviously it's not as bright. But this is the Bright Bummer version of the pickaxe. I think I'll stop doing that now. Here is, here is the Cuddle Team Leader bow that goes on the back of her. Why is that pink? <sighs> what do they go and do? Why? This is going to be a pain in the ass to get out. Fucking fat head is stuck in there. Well, oh, there we are. Welcome it's back fine. to the second part of the video. It will all be together, but I've had a little look at this figure today. I've had a little play with it in positions, and really I've had no time to record this because of the gym and obviously getting prepped for work tomorrow and whatever. But um, I thought I would obviously continue on with this video. Now I know a lot of people are going to think 7 inches is tiny but to put it in perspective here is an 8 inch uh, Spartan warrior figure from Halo 2. It's, you know it's an inch apart but really they're not small obviously this Halo figure is really bulky it's made by Joyride it's a very old uh, you know it's quite quite creaky and stuff so the accessories are roughly like, next to each other but put the scar and the shotgun together I can uh, show this to you guys. And yeah, the shotgun on, on this side is a little bit bigger. It's not huge though. When we come down to the accessories, the scar here is, is fucking amazing. Uh, the detailing, um, everything from the back of the stock to the actual weapon itself. There's a few missed paint details and the brow's a bit bent on this thing. Uh, I'm sure with like a few minor adjustments and stuff I could get that perfect, but uh, it's not a huge deal to me. I am a bit shaky tonight, I'm not entirely sure why, so I do apologise. Here we have the Bright Bomber Pickaxe. Uh, I believe it is called the Bright Crusher or Frusher. I don't know what the fuck it's called, to be honest, because I've got the Dark Bomber version. Yeah, the detailing on this is perfect, from the eyes to all the multicolours. I don't think there's... There's like one little paint strap there on the yellow. I don't know if you guys can see that. Probably can, I don't know. It also comes with a base, which is really nice. Uh, it's not flimsy as such, but I wouldn't suggest putting pressure on it because it probably would break, but it says Fortnite on it. Um, and it just looks great. Now, the figure itself stands up without the stand perfectly. You guys look at this figure, like, it's pretty amazing, all the details on it. Um, even from, like, metallic, kind of maroon, pinky paint all the way through to the other details on this figure it's just fucking outstanding that's another accessory by the way the bow on the back i don't really want to break it by getting it off but because the ball peg is really fucking really broken on this thing fucking really tight that's what she said obviously it looks fine doesn't it let's be honest uh butt detail is fantastic uh for anybody wondering oh i really want a big ass figure yeah i'm talking about the ass not the figure being big uh you know maybe not game accurate but it's fine you know if you're looking for uh other pieces and bobs and uh, you can probably see them right there you know bobs and vajenga yeah the figure's great um it's, there's a pivot kind of swivel thing on the, on the hands here it kind of moves around here uh swivels it's a double joint, so it moves upwards. There's, there's a lot you can do with this figure, honestly. It's, it's fucking crazy. I've got this fucking guy. Pickaxe in her hand. So now she's ready to go and smash some gay pride. Sure. Uh, recording in this location is fucking terrible. I wish I chose somewhere else for this. Yeah, let's put her in a pose for you guys. So I've tried to find a pretty badass pose I could get for her, where she's got like a pickaxe and a scar in her hand. So if we put that towards you guys, we'll kind of see. Uh, what it looks like, so let's have a look. Yeah. 
posability of this figure and, and just everything about it is just fantastic. I mean, this pose is sick and I stripped this in like fuck knows how many minutes. As you can see, the ball joint kind of pops out a bit if you try and swivel it a bit too much, but I'm sure that'll be fine. You don't actually have to see that if you don't want. So yeah, I mean, it's fucking awesome. Really, really love this figure. So thank you guys for watching. See you guys soon and peace.